Hello, hello, hi. This is a two-part tutorial that's going out mostly to Kuiper John Nexus, who was having some issues with updating the references for the body for the Ghost in the Shell Motoko Kusanagi outfit. And I had pointed out to them to go to Ausnius's tutorial and use the steps outlined there, but they're having a little bit of trouble for that, so I'm going to explain it in a little bit more detail. Okay, first we're going to look been up body slide and we're looking at the one of the outfits affected get pseudo 3 and we're going to see that it does not have the 7b upper 7b lower or the muscle definition sliders so we're going to open outfit studio and we're going to load the project Gets outfit 03. Because that was step one. Okay. Step two load reference. Choose the updated reference. In this case, it's just going to be the base CBB reference, and you can just give us a say, okay, because that's what's loading by default. And yeah, you'll see the body is underneath now. Getting ahead of myself again. Okay, step three. Any zaps we don't need to worry about. Four, five, and six. We'll get back to that later. I'm going to do an example with zaps just to get through that. Okay, seven. Select and leave the checkboxes and the new or change sliders on the list. I'm going to give you a hint. They all come after forearm size. So we're going to deselect everything. And then everything after forearm size we're going to tick. Nipple shape, nipple twist up, 7B upper, 7B lower, muscular chest, arms, butt, and legs. Okay. Use slider, conform all. This conforms the project to the sliders that are checked. Slider, conform all. Alright. Save the project. Great. I'm going to recommend and suggest you never actually hit save, but save as. And give it your own name so you're not overwriting the original. I mean, if you're going to, you know, do this for distribution for a project, there's there's other rules in play, but for personal use, don't do it. We're going to say, call this Gets Outfit 03 Updated and hit to project. Now, because this one didn't actually have a body underneath, we're going to say untick the copy reference shape into output just because and that looks good we're going to hit save now we go back to body slide pull up gets out suit 03 updated and there we go 7b upper 7b lower show up and muscle definition sliders show up and we can preview that and yeah I've got this full screen because I don't want to show off my desktop it's a mess but if you look at it now okay you see the chest as it is if you pull up the chest slider and then look at the preview it should have made a little bit of a difference yeah or here if you really want to make a huge difference in something you could say you know arms and back definition 200 or 300 There you go. Yeah, that worked. Okay. That's great. We just saved that one. But what if we had something with zaps? Like, say we wanted to do the vanilla grognak outfit. This one's a good one. I love doing this one because it looks good too. Vanilla grognak, okay doesn't have, oh wait, actually it will have the muscular definition sliders, but I'm going to show you something. I've got a custom preset that doesn't, that, that has extra sliders that aren't always available on all models. So this will be good. This one's got sliders that I use from Athletic Girl, shade sliders made by White Shades, and Zonamorax Abs. 
and you can see my my preset has a little bit of a different shape than the curvy because it's got some definition to it there and you know I'll tweak the arms out a little bit so we're going to go to vanilla grog neck A, B, C, D, E, F, there it is, okay. And if we preview now, you'll see a lot of the stuff that I had done with my model aren't showing up. Well, my uh, preset, that is. But this one also has some zaps as well for removing the belt, the top, or the nipples. Take off the belt, I think. I think that's a hot one right there. I like that. But that's me. Okay. Back to Outfit Studio. File. Load project. And the vanilla items are going to be in CBB Vanilla. And we're going to pull up CBBE Vanilla Grognak. Great. Okay. Then, looking at the bottom here, we're going to see some zaps. Body zap, remove belt with the space, remove top with the space, remove nipples with the space, and everything is capitalized, okay? It's a good idea if there's more than one or you have trouble remembering, writing these things down or taking a screen capture or whatever, you know, I like to use push, because I could just say capture area and say, okay, and those are the sliders names I want. And it's taking an unusually long time because it's wanting to make me look bad. That's okay. There we go. Now I'm going to pull this up and put this on a different window, or a different monitor, which you can't see, but that's okay. All right, back to Outfit Studio. We're going to load our reference, and for me, I'm going to use Browse. I'm going to pull up my Universal Reference because it's got all the stuff that I've been playing with on it. And it looks a little bit the same, but it's not. All right. Now, first thing we're going to do is slider, new slider. And the first one we had there was body zap. Remember, capitalization is important. I verified this with Ausneus. It is critical. It won't work if you don't. Body zap. Okay. New slider. Capital remove. Space. Capital belt. New slider, capital remove, space, capital top. New slider, capital remove, space, capital nipples. And a little bit of information here for the remove nipples. We're going to click the pencil and hit tab to bring up its properties. And default for that is going to, well, first we're going to say zap, yeah, and the default value is going to be 100. And it's up to you whether you want to leave it hidden or not. I believe it is by default. But if you remove the top, well, no, it should be. Because when you remove the top, you should be able to see it, okay? Then when we untick it, it should go back. Remove top it is a zap slider. Default value, we're going to leave it zero. And I'll show you what that means in a little bit. Undo that, remove belt. It's a zap slider. Default value is zero. Body zap. That's a zap slider. And we're going to call that a hidden one. Because you don't need to see it. It's just the boots. See? Just the boots. There you go. I'll take that one as well. Yep. Okay. Now, again, we're going to make sure everything's unselected. And then everything below forearm size. Nipple shape, nipple twist up, 7B upper, 7B lower, muscular chest, arms, butt legs, athletic girl, shade sliders, and MRX abs. Great. Let's make sure we got that in order. Okay. Use slider and new slider to create any zaps or extra sliders. The exact same name. We did that. You don't have to actually create the new zap again. The data is still bound to the slider. Internally, so it'll keep working. Yep. 
and new slider properties in each slider and then go ahead and make sure the same thing that's what we did okay that looks good file save project as CB vanilla grognak demo to project so we don't want to overwrite the original and we want the body to be part of this so we're going to say save yes okay here's something that I th threw me for a long time I always thought that my physics were broken because I saw this box and said okay the object that I want is highlighted hit okay no it's not okay it's not good enough to be highlighted you actually have to click it tick it to say yes that's the one I want and then hit okay highlighting isn't good enough so now we go back to Outfit Studio, I'm sorry, uh, Body Slide, and our Vanilla Grognak updated, okay, it's going to take me a minute to find this. Grognak Demo, there we go. Preview Window. All right, looks good so far. It's got the definition that I like. All right, remember when we looked at the sliders, the zap sliders? We made that zap body slider hidden. It means it doesn't show up here, so those feet will never be able to be made visible again. Now, if we look here, we see the body. If we were to untick the nipples, they're going to peek through. See a little bit right there? And that's why I play with the body texture. But if we wanted to, say, remove the top, and you wanted somebody to run around bare-chested, well, then you're not going to want the nipples removed, so you're going to untick that one, and then see. Or, yeah, confusing myself. Anyway, there you go. Now that part would be intact. Or if you wanted to remove the belt. So run around bare-hipped. That's intact as well. Okay. I will put in a link to Ausnius's guide in the description for this video as well. If there's any questions, feel free to contact me on YouTube, on Nexus, wherever you can reach me is fine. I'm not picky. Uh, I'm happy to answer questions. Thanks and enjoy. I hope that helped.